My name is Jay Kwan. I'm a developer in the Bay Area, and uh, I've been working on, uh, with our team, uh, a consensus protocol called Tendermint, which is also uh, a, a consensus engine open source software. I've been working on, since 2013, solutions to the proof of work problem. Uh, and that means, how do you have how do you get the properties of Bitcoin's proof of work without the energy expenditure? And uh, I found a solution in 2014 uh, and buried in some academic papers. And uh, Tendermint brings the, those algorithms back um, that were developed in the 80s and it turns it into a, a blockchain engine. I was always interested in alternative financial systems. Um, and when I discovered Bitcoin, and how real it was and how it really had security and how it was working, um, I got really excited. And so I decided to throw my life into it, you know, back in 2013. Um, and then while I was researching Bitcoin and, and, uh, and everything around it, uh, I read this post. It mentioned something about the environmental impact of proof of work. And so this was in 2013, a long time ago. And uh, ever since then, I, I tried to find an alternative that actually could have provable security uh, properties in the same way that you know Bitcoin has already with uh, with its mining algorithm. Um, I couldn't find anything but I found a lot of approaches that had obvious holes uh, so I knew it was a confusing thing to, and a difficult thing to solve uh, so I dropped it and I started working on a cryptocurrency exchange project for a while. In early 2014 uh, I, I, I stumbled upon a white paper uh, that was hidden behind uh, paywalls uh, on the ACM and it showed me all the elements that were needed to create a better consensus uh, algorithm that requires no proof of work. So I dropped everything and started working on that. Tendermint is a partial solution to the proof of work, proof of stake problem. Um, it's a component of our proof of stake solution. Um, so while it is a consensus algorithm, it, it by itself is not a blockchain. It doesn't really know what to do with messages or transactions. All it does is it knows how to order them. Cosmos is a network of blockchains. So maybe we can think of Tendermint as an operating system like Windows or Linux. And Cosmos is like the World Wide Web of computers that are running on various operating systems. We believe that the best solution is um, the simplest solution that gets the job done that's also the most secure and, 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 and scalable and, um, and uh, efficient. And um, our solution to this problem is to compose many uh, EVM-powered blockchains all running on Tendermint consensus. Uh, that communicate to each other through IVC on the Cosmos network. Conceptually, first and foremost, the reason why we need a hub and a hub and spoke model uh, to, to make the blockchains scale and make them interoperable is because there's efficiencies in bringing, uh, in, in, ha in having a single common uh, custodian as a reference uh, because um, there's more tokens and more security on a single hub. So if you have like a, a, a very fractured and you know um, uniform distribution of blockchains that are connected to each other, and 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 you know there is no hub, so to speak, or there are too many hubs, um, what you get is you know the n squared problem, where every single blockchain that needs to you know uh, uh, interoperate with another blockchain, they all need to have their own connection. So you get you know an if there are n blockchains, you have n squared number of connections. We already have the testnet running, um, and uh, a lot of the components, and especially the base uh, protocols and infrastructure software, it's, it's already done and being wrapped up. Uh, what's left to do is uh, to finish some, um, some, some, a few more items and to audit the code. We don't want to rush it, so, uh, and I don't want to give a date because uh, I don't want to be wrong again. However, uh, it's, it's, it's happening very soon and we, we could launch it sooner than later, but we're going to be careful.